Hi, this is Linda Rogers from Planning Within Reach. You may not realize that giving somebody money or assets will trigger a gift tax requirement. Here's what you need to know. If you give somebody assets or cash worth more than $15,000 in a given year, you need to file an IRS Form 709. You will not owe any taxes when you file that form. It is an informational return only. Some unexpected things that may trigger that return would be if you pay for your daughter's wedding or you give your son a used car that you have. There are also exceptions. So for example, if you help out somebody with tuition, you can pay the tuition directly to the school and avoid any gift tax requirements. If you pay a medical bill for someone, again, pay it directly to the hospital versus giving it to the person who then remits the check to the hospital. You have exceptions for money that you give to charity and to political organizations. You also can double that gifting requirement if you're married. So instead of $15,000 per year, you can give $30,000 Per year again married filing jointly and this is per person so if you have three kids each of those kids could get thirty thousand dollars per year without filing the gift tax form so there are um, there's a one exception also for 529 plans because contributing to a 529 plan is also considered a gift but for 529 plans only you're able to gift five years worth of contributions in one year, so $75,000, and um, but you would not be able to gift the remaining four years, right? So that's just one way that if you do get some cash for whatever reason from stock options or some sort of payout, and you really wanna get a jump start on a college 529 plan for your child, that would be a great thing to take advantage of. And what happens with these informational returns that you've been filing with the IRS? When you die, the IRS adds up your taxable estate and any of these, like, these lifetime gifts that you've given and filed a return for. And they will tax the amount that exceeds the lifetime exemption limit. So right now that's $11 million, just more than $11 million. Um, about 11.4. So in other words, it does not affect most people. You need to have substantial assets to be worrying about an estate tax component. So again, even if you're filing that informational return, probably doesn't matter down the road, but at least you're complying with the rules. We can help you just understand what you need to know um, every year as you're, you're giving to family members or if you just have questions about your tax situation in general. We're planning within REACH. We're based in San Diego. We work with impact investors and we look forward to talking with you.